Hey guys, today we're going to be connecting this Canon PIXMA TS3722 printer to your phone and pretty much the same goes for when you're connecting it to a tablet or a computer. So the first thing you'll need to do, this is for a new printer. If you don't have this sheet, just put in this, you can scan this uh, QR code right here and it'll take you to this web page right here. Um, so it's ij.start.canon forward slash CS3722 is the printer model. If you have a 3720, you put that in. That takes you to a page like this here on your phone. You're going to press start. So it's basically going to tell you all the things that we did in another video where we set up the printer. And uh, we did all that. Now we're going to try to connect to Android. We need to download the printing app. This is the app that you need for the printer to run on your uh, phone. It's called Canon Print, and this is the icon right here. Let's go ahead and open it. There's terms. Make sure is that these icons are uh, lit up on your screen right here. If they're not, you just go ahead and press this wireless button right here. After that, we're going to go to our app. Since I have the MF4700 series printer installed, that's a different printer, which is a Canon laser. I'm going to select this add or switch button. If you don't have any Canon printers installed on your app, you're, you should have um, a bigger button right here that's saying to add a printer. So we're going to go ahead and add that one and we're going to only see a MF4700 again on my uh, app here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select register printer. And now out of all the um, wire, uh, things that are connected to my network, I'm going to have, again, this printer that is not TS3722, also shows my home network right here. So I'm going to select if printer cannot be found I'm going to select auto connection and then it says if you have this link button on your printer which we do and all the newer Canon printers have them uh, we're gonna go ahead and press that button and hold it for three seconds so you're just gonna select yes and it's gonna tell you to press and hold for three seconds so this is the button right here one two three and then we're going to confirm and then select next. And then we're gonna try, the uh, phone is going to try to find your printer. Okay, so about 15 seconds into it, it uh, found my printer. It says set up Wi-Fi for the following printer. And then you're selecting okay. takes about 20 seconds so far and switches to processing. You can see things flashing on your screen right here. Looks like it already connected to my home network. So, and it's asking me to confirm that it wants to connect to my home network, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna say yes. And then I'm going to enter my password for my home network. So make sure you enter the password that is your home network, not the passcode that you have with this printer. So that is the password that is on your router, or if you changed it, you should know that um, whoever is in control of your home network or office network will have the password to it. So go ahead and enter that. Okay, after you enter your password for your router, go ahead and press OK. trying to communicate with the printer and it says this may take up to 150 seconds so that's two, uh, two and a half minutes and then that mean and while it's doing that you will see the wireless logo here flashing and this is kind of like this printer's version of processing kind of so we're gonna let it do that Okay, so that didn't even take a minute. Um, just gonna sort 
no here. Wants my images and all the other good things from my phone right away, but we're gonna skip all that. I'm gonna save the network name. Okay, so now we have it. We have this printer connected to our phone, and that's where you can do all the fun things. You can print photos, you can scan, which uh, is gonna allow you to just use this scanner uh, bed right here to scan your pictures to your phone, which is very cool. It's a lot better quality than just taking a picture a lot of times. Um, you're gonna copy from here, even though you do have the option to just press black or color copy from here, which is convenient as well. So basically, if you do document print, it'll take you to your documents that are on your phone. Photo print, it'll take you to your gallery. Scan, like we went over that. Um, and another thing that I wanna point out before we're done here, is if you want to print test pages or find out information about your printer, you're just gonna go ahead and click on your printer right there. And you're gonna go to, let's skip the survey. We don't need that right now. You will find all the information about your printer. We have the ink levels right here. Uh, we have the utilities button right here. And then it also gives you the option to order ink. And manage your subscription if you want any. Most people don't. Um, so let's go to utilities. And it's re basically authorizing you to do anything here. So we're just going to go ahead and press that link button again for three seconds. There we go. The phone read that, got that signal. So it's communicating with your printer right now. And from there, we can just print a report or see what the quality of our printouts are. And this is what we get. Nozzle check, the cleaning option, deep cleaning, print head alignment, print head alignment value, this, that. Uh, so let's just go to nozzle check. Do you want to print it? Yes. And let's see what that looks like. So it's doing that while well, it's printing out the page. Just want to let you know that if you have a print utility on your phone, it should be able to find your printer also. So you don't have to just use the app from Canon. You can use the general print utility on your phone and you should be able to use your printer off of there. So we printed out um, a nozzle check and it's 100%. It's very good quality. We have our printer connected and you can go ahead and start using it and enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you, this was a helpful video. And if it was, please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and have a great day.